How do I seek support if I think I have an eating disorder? Well, first of all, thank you for um, recognising that you may be struggling at the moment and thank you for seeking support and guidance. The main advice is to visit your GP because they will be able to refer you to further services. So I have three tips um, about speaking to your GP for the first time. The first tip is to take with you or um, have with you a list of experiences and symptoms and uh, thoughts and feelings that you're experiencing at the moment uh, so that you can speak these through with the GP and it's you've got it more clearer in your mind what it is you want to say. The second thing which is a little bit more tricky at the moment is whether it's on the phone or in person um, would it be helpful to have someone either uh, with you if that's possible or waiting outside to have someone to uh, kind of take you to the uh, GP surgery and then go uh, home with you? Uh, would that be helpful just to give you a bit of moral support um, and just make you feel a little bit uh, more at ease? And thirdly, Hopefully the GP will uh, refer you to more specialist services, but if they don't, you do have the right to, to ask to speak to another GP and to make another appointment. Um, on the whole, GPs uh, are starting to get more training and that is helping, but if you do come across barriers in getting a referral, then do ask to speak to someone else. You do have the right to get uh, support and help from services. So all of this information, um, there is the UK's eating disorder charity BEAT, and they actually have a really helpful document, which is called Seeking Treat from an Eating Disorder. And one of the pages is this one that says, I think I might have an eating disorder. And it goes through all the things um, that you might experience and uh, it just talks you through going to approach your GP for the first time. And there's also support groups and helplines uh, that BEAT offer. You can find that uh, on their website uh, and that might help you if you are struggling to get that support from your GP. So I wish you all the best and thank you for listening.